About the location. Salt cellar. If this fails, it's Tom's fault. <laughs> um, so no, um, always brought us to a super location. Um, we got um, oh, Lady Bower Reservoir down the bottom here, which looks absolutely stunning. Um, sunsets, the other side of the, uh, the stone stack here. I'll just show you that. Um, so the sun sets over there somewhere, and at the moment it actually looks really nice at the minute. Um, maybe I should be getting my camera out, but that looks really nice. Uh, so we're just gonna, we've got plenty of time to try and get things set up and try and get a composition. This is what the lads are doing. Um, I honestly think there's an image now, so I'm, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna crack on, and uh, it's probably the best. I'll tell you what, I'll leave you for a bit. I'm gonna get some images, and I'll get back to you. I'm actually getting my first image, and I've got it within seconds of setting up. The only sort of problem issue I've got, I'm just waiting for them sun rays to come back through to be a bit more prominent, but I would like a bit more light on this. On the subject here on this stack um, and the other issue i've got is is the ground is very soft because of all this other so i think i might just um i've certainly got it on the timer anyway it, it should be all right on the timer because it's not a particularly slow shutter speed anyway um, and i am going to bracket the shot because we've got a lot of contrast on that left hand side where the sun's coming through but i'm just going to try and capture the light and then I'm actually going to move up to where they are because apparently um, there's a nice composition up there. So, hey, we're all in this together. All for one and one for all, as they say. So uh, I'm going to nick their image. Um, but we do, we, we know there's a, there's a definite image here with this leading line of this. Let me just show you if you can see it. Where are you? Um, there's a, sorry, there's a, there's a rock, leading line of a rock there that runs up to the, the stack and beyond um, and that's probably the the image for later on but we're getting some lovely light from behind actually and I'm just wondering what that light is behind but we're also getting this lovely I don't know whether you, you'll pick it up in the camera but this lovely um, sun rays which looks quite nice now so let's just grab that I think I might put it on a 10 second timer because the ground is that soft. I'll try and get the, the tripod more stable. I'll try and bed it right into the ground. We'll just reset the composition. Let's get it nice and level. Let's just flip that screen. Oh, that's better. Oh, that is beautiful. I've dropped down low so the stack is above the horizon line so it gives it that little bit more definition we are getting a nice little bit of light on this foreground i think i just need to yeah just pull it into that. that's better and we'll get some lovely light in the background now so let me just make sure we focus that is a nice image what i'm going to do i'm going to spend five minutes here and it might need a bit of time blend because the light's popping in oh the light's lovely I just, I now want the light, if I can stop here for a minute, and if the light hit this stack here, that would be one hell of a photo. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh, I love this. Look at the light here, look at that beam of light to that left hand side. Oh my God. No, don't move, don't move, I still need the time blend. We've still got plenty of time before 
it sets as well, haven't they? Let me stop my workout. Um, I just want the light to hit the stack. We're getting a bit of ambient light on it, so it's still nice, and I can still bring that out. And, and we've got some lovely green flowers around the rocks, which are catching that little bit of light, so that'll be really nice as well. So let me just get another image, but I'm definitely going to give it five minutes here before I move and have a look, see if there's anything else about. But that is absolutely beautiful. I am very, very happy. I think the only way I could improve it more is probably just drop down a little bit more. But I'm definitely going to... The only thing if I drop down more is I'm going to lose that, that light as it's catching the, the first hill, if you like. And that hill's full of patterns. It's absolutely beautiful. Again, I think it could be... That could be more of a long lens and get it... Get that... Um, compression in there because the patterns on that that bank behind are, are stunning to be honest especially with the light hitting it i'm happy with that i'm happy with that okay oh, brilliant right next one okay so now it's exactly what i wanted it's, it's happened where the light's now catching this foreground so i can actually blend the images together um, and it should make for an extremely nice dramatic image uh, and we've all frantically clicking that camera button because it is absolutely beautiful <laughs> oh, I love it and then it disappears as quick as that right I think that's my image for that one so I'm definitely gonna see what else we got okay Let's go. Well, we've got visitors a lot, and I think I've managed to capture him on an image. Um, beautiful sheep, to be honest. Dark black faces, lovely cat, ever so well kept, beautiful. Um, I would say he's a sh show sheep, sh Sean the show sheep. But we've also got some real beautiful light in the background now. I really do like the light, so. I really must concentrate on um, this subject again, I think. That is really nice. I'm just wondering. I think I need to get down low and get that stack above the horizon. Because if, let me just drop down low, I think it looks better if we get up on the right. The only problem I've got with that is, then we lose that lovely backdrop. But at the moment, I mean, it's been lit up there, which is quite nice. Um, but yeah, some lovely light. The only thing I'm worried about is is that sun dropping behind that dirty cloud. But we've got some lovely light behind. I'm going to have to keep my eye out here because where Martin is looks stunning there. Bloody hell. Right. This is nice. This is nice. What's the time? Oh, we've got another hour and ten minutes before sunset, so we should, we've got plenty of time. This this cloud's quite nice that's coming in, but whether it stops actual uh, colour of the clouds later on is another thing, and it's definitely coming this way. So maybe we've got to make the most of it now, I think. I've gone for me long lens because we've lost the light in this, this area here. In front of the the stack of stones here, but what we are getting is beautiful light on the um, on the the back end of Kinder Scout there, uh, and it's forming layers of light, and it's 
it is absolutely stunning. It's actually getting better. Look at how the, the sun's diffused now. Look. Uh, it's actually looking really nice. I'm going to have to get some more images here because it, it is super. Um, so really all, all the lights on this left hand side coming from behind this bank of cloud um, and it's so contrasty and then we've got this the low cloud which is framing the image as well so it's really really nice absolutely love it let me put it on video on the uh, on the main camera so you can see it because it's worth a lot there we go does that look beautiful or what So that's the light we're getting at the moment. Um, the, and the light as we're talking, I'm gonna get another image because I can stack the images as well. Let's just change the exposure slightly. We'll just have a look at the display. just get it set display I'm happy at that image we'll get we are getting some lovely rays of light to the right hand side now so things are this is going to move over this is it might, it might do, yeah. it, hopefully just in time yeah. but we are getting some lovely light so yeah um, we get some beautiful light to be honest at the moment there's another image and it's at the ridge of Mantor, the great ridge of Mantor there and as the you can just make out the lone tree in the distance and I'm going to get that image now because that's now lit, lighting up and it looks stunning especially with that curve of the ridge um, and we're guessing that it's about 10 mile away we think um, sort of 8 10 mile away at least could even be further than that but it looks stunning let me get an image of that um, and then uh, Mr. Stainy Pants is getting excited. Oh, it's lighting up lovely. Again, what I might do is do a, um, a time blend. I might not need to on this, to be honest with you, because the sun is, is pretty much, that light's hitting that one side and the curve of the, the ridge there looks absolutely stunning. So we'll just get that again. And again, let me show you on the back of the camera what I'm looking at. So I'm focusing on, there's a little, there's a lone tree, which it's sort of that sharp right angled ridge, sort of just to the left of the image. So I've set the, um, there's one mountain ridge I've set on the left hand side. And then we've got the ridge coming from left to right and then sweeping back around into the middle of the frame it does look beautiful and then you've got the light hitting the one side so it, it is really really nice i love absolutely love it i just hope that i'm just start i just hope that it's um again that image does it justice what we're actually seeing okay let me just have a, a look see if everything is sharp on there as well so we'll just zoom in yeah, I'm gonna just check that again, I think. Let's um, let's go manual focus and have a little look. Just wanna make sure my focus is as good as I can possibly get it. There we go, there we go. So I'm gonna go, I'll just zoom back out on that. Get that image again. That is pin sharp now. So I've, gone, I've actually gone manual focus just to make 100% sure, because I don't think it will quite in focus especially at that length that is looking extremely nice i think i'm, I'm also going to just now adjust the composition just get it a bit more we've basically got two mountain ranges and this is the two sweet round it comes around to the other one so i'm trying to position everything in the right thirds of the image if you like and just work in that composition a bit more and i now i think I, i'm just going to go slightly tighter in which means i've got to just come back there a little bit i'm not sure if that works as well to be honest well let's give it a go 
this this cloud formation is moving pretty quick and if it moves quick enough we could be in for an epic one i know what we are in for an epic walk back <laughs> Okay, gone back to the uh, the um, wide angle lens, the 16 to 70. We've got some, or we did have some lovely rays of light. Let me just walk you through the image and then um, I'm just gonna wait, hopefully for that light to improve. And it's now it's constantly changing. The light's dark, it's light, it, it, it is stunning. So let me just run through this composition with you. Um, what I like about the composition is, I'll just start on a second. So let me show you in here as well as on the back of the camera. So we've got, I've got this leading line and this, this pathway running through here, up to this salt cellar. cellar, up to the salt cellar. But what I also like then, we've got this lovely, as the rock comes through here from the left hand side, we've got the valley that follows through all the way round, looping round into that loop of trees there, and then you got the stunning um, sky as a backdrop. So I really, really do like that. Um, let me just come out a bit wider to show you. But that, whether it's a wide, and we've got some nice drama in the sky now, nice, moody, dark sky. So that looks, show you on the back, that looks really nice. So, okay, I might, um, I might just get that, just re, just compose that a little bit better. We'll focus on the stack and um, we'll get another image. Wow, that is dramatic. We're, we're not getting that, them rays of light, but we're getting that fantastic drama in the sky so i'm definitely bracketing the shot f11 just drop that explosion we'll just have a look at the histogram just get it there we go uh, um <laughs> it's all right it's kicking off left right and center now so i'm going to get that image that is beautiful Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that cam, leave that there for a bit, and just to see if that light kicks off a little bit more. Um, but oh, I'm tempted to get the long lens out again now because that that light, I don't know if you can see it. That light touching that that mountain range there looks absolutely beautiful. Oh, I don't know what to do. No, I'm going to stop here a minute. Stop here. I think. I'm gonna buy my time because I think we're gonna get some more nice light in front of me. But if not, it's still extremely dramatic. And it's that dramatic, I'm gonna get another shot. There we go, bracketed. I'll just check the image. Oh, that's nice, that is. I, I love the path, but I, it, it's almost got, and I don't think it distracts from, I think it adds to the image, but we've got the leading line up to the subject then we've got another leading line that leads you behind the subject so i think it really works well fantastic absolutely fantastic
Okay, I think we're not giving up quite yet, but I don't think we're gonna get better line than what we had half an hour ago. It really has, there's like a blanket of low cloud come over us. And it's certainly where the sun was setting behind me here. Um, but we're not quite giving in yet, but nearly. We've got another 10 minutes till sun actually sets. And you never know, it's rolling through that quick. Something might happen. But I can't see it. So I'll probably end the vlog here. Um, so thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Um, if you enjoyed it, subscribe, but please give us a thumbs up. Um, and um, I'll catch you guys. Let me just click that a second. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's a great location. It's, a, it's an hour and three quarters, hour and 40 minute walk. Even though we was told it was an hour and 10 minutes. But it's hour and three quarters. <laughs> so but well worth it it's absolutely stunning and you could carry on walking and walking and i'm sure it's we've only seen the tip of the iceberg of it it's a stunning location uh, the um the salt stack here um is unbelievably beautiful it's in the right place it's fantastic to photograph so um yeah come and try it out okay right like I say, thanks for watching and I'll, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers guys.